Hey guys, so it's Team here with a demo of the performance in Windows 8. So I have installed it here on my older uh, Gateway laptop, so uh, some of the specs on this, it does have a dual core Athlon processor, it clocks at about 2 gigahertz or so, it does have 4 gigabytes of, of RAM, the HD Radeon 3200 graphics, and a 320 gig hard drive which is spinning at 5400 RPM. So uh, this is a couple years, this laptop's a couple years old, originally came with Vista, I upgraded it to 7, and of course now it's running Windows 8. So uh, go ahead and give you guys kind of a little demo of what the performance will be on something that's not, you know, particularly high end. So for one, let's go ahead and try our booting up. So we'll come down here instead of logging in, and let's go ahead and restart. So we'll go ahead and let it shut off. Uh, now one thing is in the power button automatically for a laptop, it will try to put the laptop to sleep, which, you know, that's one thing. But anyway, so it's going to be shutting off, and... It's going to take just one second. There we go. So this is the post screen. It has nothing to do with that, but from right now on, it's all Windows 8. Uh, now, this one does currently run Windows 7. Of course, I decided to replace that with Windows 8. I wanted to have a system you know, that's going to be dedicated to it. Um, but hopefully, you guys get a good idea of the kind of the performance here. Again, this is a kind of a slower hard drive and all that kind of stuff. On an SSD and all that kind of stuff, it'll be faster. But as you guys can see here, I think it's about done. And... And please wait. Yeah, so we're almost done here. And, uh, you know, I can't really say that it is a huge improvement over Windows 7. I'd say maybe maybe 5, 10 seconds, a little bit shorter. Uh, but certainly not bad. So anyway, let's go ahead and unlock it. And see here everything is nice and fluid. Although there's actually a little, little problem there, but not a big deal. Let's punch in my password. All right. So once you do this, uh, it does take one more second. Just kind of like when you, uh, you know, log in on Windows 7. It does take a second to boot up. But as you guys can see here, we're pretty much done. Uh, so we can scroll with the mouse wheel, and it is very smooth. So if you guys had any you know, problems, you were afraid that it was not going to be very smooth, you really don't need to be worried. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple things. So for example, let's take a look at the control panel. I'll open up, and as you guys can see here, no real problems at all. Uh, we can do uh, scrolling, so again, I'm using the mouse wheel. And it's got a little bit of uh, kinetic scrolling, so very similar to you know, uh, on, well, I guess on OS X Lion, as well as on lots of smartphones and stuff. Uh, you know, you scroll a little bit and it kind of keeps going. So, really quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and back up and find something else to get into to give you guys a good idea. Actually, let's uh, switch over to the normal desktop and back. And you guys can see here, it's a pretty smooth transition. Uh, I gotta say, there's not a whole lot I could be complaining about. Um, kind of hard to tell, but I'd say it's pretty close to 60 frames per second. And again, to, uh, and I don't know how well it looks on the camera, but uh, to my eye, it looks pretty much as smooth as it can get. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, news reader again. Just going to open a couple of applications up. And once we have this up, there we go, it's loading. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's connected to Wi-Fi right now, but we can Alt-Tab. And again, we can also hit, oops, there we go, we'll Alt-Tab now. Uh, no, that's Control-Tab. <laughs> I'm in the dark here trying to trying to see here so uh, of course the alt tab works just fine uh, Windows tab no longer has the arrow interface but it is kind of slide between the apps like this but anyway guys it's gonna be about it for my little performance demo of Windows 8 running on a kind of older not particularly powerful laptop if you guys enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more be sure to subscribe